Alrighty. Hello everybody. So this is the um, developer uh, devlog of my infinite map. So today I will be showcasing the new API. So um, to those of you who don't really know what an API is, it's basically kind of like a thing where you can access different... Um, it's, it's kind of like a, a library where you can like access information in books and then like maybe use that information to your advantage. But um, to the developers out there that are interested in this project, the API is uh, now like the the beginning of the API is like finished. So you can create your own infinite maps without worrying about sorting out the code differences between the two. So um, a good example is this is the base infinite map. So there's terrain, and I can go upward for infinity, and there's no end. Um, and there's some fog over there that eventually starts, and you can't see the end or whatever. And eventually I add, like, space probably, and maybe some clouds or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is the base infinite map. And the cool thing is, so if I go over here to start a new game, and we go over here we have this other map called gm underscore inf map underscore empty and we can hit start game and we'll start loading in and the cool thing is that these maps are identical so I literally just took the BSP and copied it like literally I just control C control V it over and the cool thing is is these two maps are initializing the same infinite map Lua which means basically it's less of a hassle to have multiple infinite maps. So um, I'm going to load in here in like two seconds. So hold on. Uh, like three, two, one. Almost, almost there. Got to give her some add-ons. Oh. Well. And okay, now we're in. All right. So this infinite map is it's also infinite. Go on for infinity. Never ends. And I'm going to respawn on this plate. And I made it so you can have this little plate in the middle. Um, so the cool thing is, uh, is these two maps right here, as I said earlier, they are identical. There's literally nothing different about these two maps. The thing that is, the th like, like physically the maps, the .bsp file, there's nothing different. But the Lua is the thing that is different. So the same infinite map code is being initialized on both maps, right? Which means I can add another map with gm underscore inf map as the, the title. So like gm underscore inf map underscore whatever. And it'll automatically make it an infinite map if my base is installed. So a good example is maybe you wanted to add like uh, I don't know, infinite back rooms or something, and you compiled a map, and um, you made it seamless at the chunk borders over here. So um, right over here, you have some like chunk borders. So yeah, it, you'd have it like seamlessly loop from like this chunk border to that chunk border. Uh, unfortunately, world brushes aren't teleported; they're kind of like always in the same chunk as you. I can't really get around that because you can't detour the world rendering. And you can't detour. Um, uh, you can't detour player collision with the world. So if I if you could, then I definitely would. But it's unfortunately not possible. Um, but yeah. So now you can make your own infinite map using my infinite map code as a base, and then add on to that with your own infinite map. So maybe you want your map to be completely like with like planets and stuff maybe you want your map to have like um, an infinite hole I don't know it's it's whatever it's your choosing so the Lua is loaded automatically so like per map so different Lua's loaded depending on the map that you're loaded into and what this means is as I said earlier now you can have multiple infinite maps without them like clashing into each other so like the the code won't like it's not like a pain anymore to have two different infinite maps they're kind of they initialize with the same code and 
not, like the code has been completely changed like you probably haven't noticed like literally anything different but the entire behind the scenes networking system um, trunk based positions like literally all that code has been moved around and changed so uh, now it's more like developer friendly and you should be able uh, again to make your own infinite maps uh, I put some kind of eh, okay documentation I don't know I made it like really quick um, it's not too good but if you are interested then you may look at the documentation on the github page um, this will eventually be released as an add-on but it's it's not ready yet man it's it's not even close to ready so I've still got a detour uh, a whole bunch of stuff I still got a detour sounds I've still got a detour um, explosions I think of like effects um, all of those are just I need to detour oh yeah bullet traces those don't work cross trunk yet um, so I'm gonna have to detour those and yeah yeah that'll take a while um, but you know once it's finished it will be on the workshop ready for use uh, hopefully the developer API will be a little more friendly it's not like it's not too friendly right like you can make a map but it's not like it's not an easy process um, but it's definitely easier than it was before so like now you don't have to copy all of my code over just to make another infinite map no 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 all you have to do is add your own little uh, edits to your map and then and then you're you're good so literally the cool thing is um, maybe not cool but if you had GM like Con construct right here and you named it to GM underscore inf map underscore construct then it would initialize my infinite map code and make it quote unquote infinite in a way, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's kind of like a multiverses kind of because the you only collide like with the props in your chunk, but there's like a GM construct in every chunk, so it's kind of like a like a mirror world almost, but like for infinite it's kind of weird um, so yeah unfortunately world brushes and stuff won't work but I think normal brushes do like physics based brushes I think those work fine uh, untested though so definitely um, give feedback any developers that are interested in this so yeah so you can pretty much just fall forever um, I do need help making another infinite map like base map because the map currently has uh, a couple of issues one of them being um, I think one is there's no light environment and uh, there's not enough spawn points and I think the map bounds isn't at the max for some reason I forgot why uh, I don't know there were a couple of weird problems with it I'm really happy with this base though so you can like you can edit the sky, which is pretty cool, so I, I can make it space if I do like this. So now it's like all starry and stuff. I make the sun like zero. There you go. So now it's like night. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, another cool thing though is CSM works um, mostly. I have shadows disabled right now, I think, but CSM should work since I've done client side detours. Didn't mention that earlier. Does that not collide? That's annoying. Oh well. So yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, again, I would I would highly suggest trying to make your own infinite map if you are interested. And that'll be it.